The adrenaline is pumping and expectations are high. Marines from 1st Battalion, 3rd Marines Division infill alongside Republic of Korea Marines in a combined live fire exercise at Rodriguez Range. The training is as realistic and demanding as it can get. But one young corporal keeps a calm mind. All that's going through my mind is making sure my team leaders are good to go for this range, making sure they're going to be pushing the guys. Uh, we got a good bit to run today. Um, so just making sure my guys are ready to go out there and sprint. Last one. Last one, sir. Corporal Merrikin just got promoted to squad leader, and in his three and a half years in the Marine Corps, he has worked with Indonesian and Malaysian forces. He now adds Korea to his resume. Push, push, push. Having the new challenge of not only having to worry about his squad, but having to worry about another squad from an entirely foreign military force is a great challenge. Is he a good young man, and he's able to handle it very well. Go, go, go. Pretty much everything I did learn back then, we have been putting into this kind of training. Uh, you know, even on our off time, we always go and we uh, will hang out with the Rock Marines and get to know them a little bit better. And come to find out, they're a lot like our Marine Corps. Amongst Corporal Merrikin's Korean counterparts, it's a soldier who studied at San Diego State and returned to complete his military service as a Marine. I first thought U.S. Marines and Korean Marines would be different, but now that I got to know them, I can see we are similar. We are both proud to be Marines, and we are very well disciplined. Even though they come from different backgrounds, Corporal Merrikin and Corporal Kim can both agree on one thing. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Specialist Pedro Amador, Rodriguez Range, Korea. Ready for, Ready for